Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 9 of Going Medieval, which originally aired live on Twitch. Nice. Okay, yep. There we go. It was indeed. Cypher, thank you. First time catching the stream. You've been binge watching several of my series and you love the stuff. Well, my pleasure. And thank you for supporting. Hats off to you. Uh, let me, let me, okay, that's, there's no more coffee in there. Let me cheers you with water. Cheers. I appreciate it. What series have you been watching out of curiosity? And we also had a pet tusk redemption and I don't have a tusky with me. So let me call her. Let's see. I might even be able to get a uh, the very ever rare Echo. And here we go. We've got Mako. Congratulations, you are now Lily. If you want to rename Lily from something other than Mako, let me know. But for now, you are the bookish marshal. Hey, Tusk, come here. She loves it. All right, I'll fix my posture. Cutest doggo? Yeah, she is stinking cute. <laughs> She's great. Hi. All right, let's take a look at the... Uh, the storage okay so we're digging it out this here so the bottom of this pit here that's bedrock right there or granite i guess uh i shouldn't import uh, uh minecraft terms this is granite it's as low as you can go so oh mako perfect thank you uh so mako just hauled away the the clay that was there and we're just gonna keep digging 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 and this is the start of that, uh, you know, our current project, of course, is a giant storage cellar. So this is the storage cellar here. And then down there will be uh, the the root cellar. And uh, interestingly enough, it's going to be like underneath this uh, moat of sorts. So good project. Very good project. I have so much cabbage. I have 800 something cabbage. Yeah. All the more need for a root cellar so that we don't have it spoil on us. You aspire to have this level of chill? <laughs> or what about this level of chill? We've got imminent enemies, so I'm going to lock the front door, making sure that nobody's outside. Nope, they're not. Okay. Violent extortionists, you can... Uh, well, we'll kill you. All right. Whoa! You are... Compensating for something. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That is a big lad. Yes, that is a big lad. Uh, all right, so let's let's uh let's lock our door. Bye, Tusk. You can go. You you're you're allowed. Tusk bailed on us. She saw the raiding coming. She's like, nope, you're gonna die. Hop up on the couch, girl. Or not. All right, Bago, or no, no, uh, Mako. Did we, so the sturdy longbow is here. This requires 10 marksmen. So let's see if there's uh, someone that can inherit these bows. Yes, Gray can pick up the sturdy longbow. So let's do that. And then Mako, uh, we're gonna have you grab the sturdy short bow rather than get your wounds tended to. 
And let's take a look. Rasip, you don't have the marksman to level up. McHump, you you also. So we can make one more longbow. Um, obviously not before this raid, but one more longbow for McHump. McHump is level 12 marksman. Could get... Oh, no, he already has a longbow. Never mind, I take that back. Uh, Bago... Okay. Nope, we're good. Sorry. Totally contradicted myself. We are good without... Uh, a longbow. Everybody that can use longbows have now do have longbows. Whoa, that was quick. They, uh, spent very little time prepping. So, the raiders are coming in. Let's set my longbowman up in prominently spot, uh, prominently, whoa, that is so weird. Am I gonna fall? Okay, well, we'll see. In prominent positions. And Mako, you're gonna have to defend yourself. I think I need to put Rasip somewhere. Go, and then Rob, Ares, Spraxis. In fact, let's just dump on them as they income, uh, all on the east side. Or south side, I guess, whatever. There's all my bow, and then all my melee. We'll see if I can't uh, stack the wall and have them shoot early. This is, is this the lad? No, that's not the lad. He's pretty geared, but he's not the lad. This is the lad. So this is the brutal dude. Uh, everybody. I feel like this is the scene from Lord of the Rings with the torchbearer, the white Urukai. Get him! Alright, murderous third coming thug is dead. Alright, at this point, uh, Marauder goes here, McHump goes here, and Gray goes here. So my expert bow people are going to cover the gate, and then everybody else can, uh, can free fire however they want. Oh ho ho! Murder, murder, murder. Y'all made some devilishly bad decisions in life. It look, also looks like the uh, the bridge folks here uh, somehow or another have lines of sight anyway. So it's like a, it's a pretty effective. Did we just melee him through the door? I'm 99% sure that that just happened. That is awesome. Kind of buggy, but awesome. Okay, Marauder killed or hurt the most people. Again, that is a very common theme. They are fleeing. Uh, We're not going to allow that, though. So, Gray, Marauder, Hump. Get him. All right, they're all dead. Everybody died. <laughs> Undraft and default door. You guys don't need to sleep on the ground. And let's go ahead and allow all their junk. I like how we killed them so much that their junk started spilling on the wrong side. No witnesses. Uh, max population? Yeah, I'm not really sure what max population is. I saw on their Discord that they said that um, populations are designed to be somewhere between 15 and 20, but I'm not really sure if there's uh, hard caps just yet. Oh, 
Bob goes to sleep on the roof. Yeah. There we go. I have plenty of sleeping spots. It was just like laziness, essentially. Summertime. So chance of heat waves and harder to keep your crops cold. All the more reason to work on this uh, this cellar here. The old cellar project. So let's continue that. Um. Yes, it has been asked a lot, is this just another RimWorld? And my answer is, I'm not sure yet. It's too early in development to really, like, definitively say yes or no. It could be. It could just be, like, a 3D RimWorld knockoff, or some hybrid between Stone Hearth, RimWorld, and some other games like Towns or Memoria or whatever, you name it. There's a lot of games like this. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But I don't really need to be sure, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is, is it fun? And I would say it is fun. And if the the pace of development continues at a good clip, um, I don't really care if it's just ripping off RimWorld or not. RimWorld, of course, is not medieval. Doesn't have a Z level, at least not without mods. So this has features that RimWorld won't. Turn off the brazier. Uh, for the summers? Yeah, probably. Turn these off. Which is easier said than done, given the quantity that I have. So in this room... Bedrooms... I suppose I could have just zoomed out and turned them all off, all, all off that way, but I think that's all of them. I'm going to leave the ones on my roof on because, like, I don't really care. Man, you were a big boy. I like how your weight is only 40 kilograms. Uh, again, n n Attack on Titan comes to mind as the Titans were not heavy. So gray here is breaking down the items, the wooden items. And as far as clothing goes, yep, starting to get a bunch of clothing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people so far. I'm going to make up to 10 clothes of all types. Might as well. Yeah, double-clicking everything will select everything on the same Z-level. I know. I Like I said, I could have turned it off like that. Let's take a look at the... So this is the... This is the bottom Z-level. This is about as low as you can go. And what I'm going to do here is... Let's throw a wooden door in that spot. And then this here will be the food storage. So out like that. And I'm going to make it like a tunnel so that I don't have to support it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so this room here is 33 Fahrenheit, which is just above freezing, and my root cellar is 41. Um, so obviously the, all the way down here, it's actually 31 now. It's actually under, it's, it's freezing. So it had a benefit. It does mean that like when we haul stuff to storage, we'll need to move a little bit further down, but, um, I'm okay with that. I could go wider, but th this seems fine. I'm, if I need more space, I can go wider though. I could go like five wide rather than four wide. Or support beams, you know. The beams can go up to 10. But uh, I won't be doing that just yet. Mm -hmm. 
research for crossbows. So we still need about 16 more books. Where is Gray? Where is Gray? Oh, she might be... Uh, no, no, she's working on the books. Okay. Because the other thing I want to do is I want to set it up, set up like a dismantle uh, queue for anything that is um, flimsy or anything that is damaged. Because a lot of this stuff out here is not flimsy; it's fine or whatever, but it's also damaged. And I'd rather just wear what I, I make myself. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it's 28 in there, 28 Fahrenheit. That's uh, that's pretty cold. Now, I, I believe that um, if you add floors and stuff, it like ruins its. I'm not a hundred percent certain about the the laws of thermodynamics. In other words, we're gonna have to figure that out. Which type of floor adds the least amount of heat? I think it should be, um, well, as far as thermal insulation goes, they all add the same, 0.6, but it's clay that adds, has the most insulation. Does equipment get damaged like it does in RimWorld? So if you take a look at like uh, one of the bows that we've been using this whole time, uh, no, this, this bow that like Gray has Actually, Gray's bow is relatively new, so let's take a look at Marauder's bow. Marauder's had his bow for a long time. It's 135 out of 152, so there might be some decay usage um, for clothing and gear. So once we have our stockpile sorted, because right now this stockpile is just nasty. It's just full of garbage, right? Uh, once we have our stockpile sort of sorted better, uh, we'll try to set it, set it up so that we have an active... We have like a good count of what we have and what we need. And here's a good short bow. Nice. Uh, Rasip will give that to you when you're up uh, right now, I guess. Sturdy one. And we're melting items. And bodies. <laughs> Alright, let's also start queuing up beer forever. But it's telling me that I don't have all the materials here. I need herbs. Do I really need herbs? No, I have uh, 145 herbs. What are you talking about? Is it the barley? Oh, you know what it is? I don't think I've had my first harvest of barley. Yeah, because it's still ripening. Okay, that makes sense. We're almost done getting through all of those dead people gear. And Gray, how is the research coming? Uh, Gray's almost ready to go for crossbows. We're 26 out of 30 books. Let's take a look at this uh, underground. So I want to add in wooden beams. I'm going to be very conservative and do it every three for uh, security's sake. But then all the way down here, this is going to be our new stockpile for um, uh, food. So clear all. I'm going to pause a second. Uh, so what we're adding here is raw, I think, just raw. Except for raw human. 
And then in here, we will clear all. In fact, I'm going to delete the stockpile entirely. Research is ready for crossbows. So there we are. We can now make crossbows and let's cube one up. Figure out the uh, requirements there. Carpentry 20, mechanical components 2. I think I have five mechanical components. They're just maybe not in my stockpile somewhere. So let's queue one of these up. And carpentry 20. Gray, you have a carpentry of 14. So I'm not going to be able to make a crossbow. Simple fact of the matter is I don't have the skill to do it. Uh, so if I want the skill to do it, I'm going to have to grind out a whole lot of regular bows. So we'll wait on that. That's not going to change. Tumbling Satellite, thanks for the raid, by the way. How is, uh, how is Rumworld today for you? And the Yoda streamer cam didn't work. That's unfortunate, but I can fix that. He's not here. He's eating dinner, so I will owe you one. Just, uh, yep. He has made his, his escape. So here's my cabbage all the way down. Um, why is this decomposed? Oh, because of floor type. Right, right, right. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in... I'm going to add in like a limestone brick floor. Might as well. It, le it, it lets you traverse a little bit faster than the standard floors. Chat tried to kill you again, succeeded, resurrected everyone somehow, we're still going. Sounds like a good series, man. <laughs> Sorry I haven't been there to watch. Nothing like a, uh, a Born Again series. Happens to me a lot, too. So, the next research. We've got Armorer 2, Shields 2, Furniture 2, Axes, Maces, Swords, or Wooden Weapons. I know I skipped some, but again, don't have room for everything on the pole. It's so a pick of those choices, 1 through 7, and that will be what we do next. Harvest Ruin, Marauder. I know your name is Marauder, but don't do that. What does wooden, we wooden weapons get me? Um, it gets me spears, mostly. Or, like, these flails. Not great, but it's, like, low-hanging fruit because it's one of the first weapons that you unlock. So it's more like uh, you, we would do it if we wanted to be a completionist, I suppose. All right, now taking a look. Um, these cabbage piles will never, ever spoil. They're cold enough that they just won't spoil, which is great. Sitting about, about freezing. And then once, uh, once we move all this food down below, uh, what we'll do is we will, um, we'll go ahead and uh, set this up as a general stockpile. Unless, I'm going to have you all vote whether you want this to be general stockpile or not. Um, it'll be up to you. But we are starting to ferment our own beer. That's good. Because we've been without beer for a while. Are there raids in the game? Uh, yeah, there are. As you can tell, I've killed some uh, some raiders here. And that's what all this uh, armor and stuff has come from. Playing in survival mode, just attracted by a trebuchet. Brutal. Very brutal. I think what I'm going to do here is what I call super haul. 
Uh, we have enough food that's just kind of like sitting in the old stockpile slowly. Actually, it's cold enough right now that it's not decaying, but it will inevitably decay. So I'm going to force everybody to sort of do some crop hauling uh, so that I don't end up with a, a, a massive amount of food waste. So as you can see, my food stocks have been shooting up now because we uh, were actually storing them for once. I can also uh, turn this into a brewery, the apothecary in the brewery, uh, instead. That would be another uh, good use for it, I suppose. Oh, look at that. It is full. Oh my god, it's full. It's full. That's a lot of cabbage. Uh, that's a lot of cabbage. Uh, you know what? Another thing I could do is... Um, these are already ripening. Uh, this cabbage field, I'm gonna delete for now and uh, scythe it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna instead plant um, barley or something I can turn into booze and then into vinegar for uh, keeping things from spoiling. Also, when did this tree pop up? I didn't. I don't allow that. Get out of here, tree. Trees will sort of grow on their own, you know, propagate on their own. So it's kind of funny when uh, I have like random trees pop out of nowhere. I'm gonna start cutting back these uh, these trees here, uh, so that they, they don't uh, keep spreading. You know, if I wanted a tree farm, I I could start one elsewhere. All right, so let's take a look. So the temperature in here is a uh, 42. So it is, it will cause decom composition eventually so it's not super cold it could be a little bit colder uh, which is exactly why I'm gonna focus on um, um, getting ourselves some uh, vinegar just to, to keep things from spoiling all right let's also allow v vinegar Let's see. Let's allow herbs, healing kits, and vinegar down there, too. Maybe salt as well. There we go. And that looks better. All right. Furniture, too, is the next thing that you all voted on. Got it. I don't think I'm going to be making one of these tables, but sure, you want it. Uh, now the question, what to do with this old area? What to do with the old fruit cellar? Uh, general, so we have general storage, brewing, and chemistry. Uh, bedrooms? Or... Um chapels so pick between those four options and I'm taking everybody off of super hall now everybody could go back to their normally scheduled work So most of this stuff is not decomposing much at all, but I suppose I could do a better job of, I'm, I'm actually not even sure how to keep it even colder. Underground church, come on. Hey, it's up to you, we'll see. Yeah, meat will still rot down there, that's true. Mako, why are you tailoring? Let me 
fix some of this. In fact, it's probably easier just to do it like that. Okay, that should be a little bit better. That way we don't have people doing tasks that they shouldn't and clogging it up. Oh, look at that. Superior linen summer clothes. You know, McHump, you made that. You wear it. Nice. The, uh, the temperatures for stuff is all wrong because it converts from... Uh, in fact, it might be better if I show everything in Celsius because the game doesn't calculate Fahrenheit at all. Uh, it just doesn't work. So if you take a look at here, the superior linen summer clothes gives a tolerance of 6 Celsius up. And if we take it off... Let me come. He's comfortable to 25. We put it on, he'll be comfortable to uh, uh, 31. All right, wide straw hats, I might start... Um, Mass producing as well. We'll see. You want me to go into Kelvin? No, nah, no thanks. No thanks. That's, uh, t I mean, I'd have to constantly subtract. I'm already less familiar with um, Celsius. And then if it's Kelvin, I have to constantly subtract like 273 from every value and then convert it from then... I'm sorry, I can't do that in my head for every time. If you can, props to you, but I am unable, so you can blame me. Won't be, do won't be doing that. Me knowing that it's 273.15? Uh, I know it's 273.15 because of station ears, more or less. <laughs> Because every time I have to do any, like, logic chip calculations, I have to subtract 273.15 from everything I ever do. Which is honestly just a bother. Because logic logic temperatures are always in Kelvin. But then your readers tend to be in Celsius, so you have to convert them constantly. Alright, DJ. I summoned a tusk for you. Ha 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 ha. perfect. Hey, girl. I'm magic. I know. <laughs> I extend my arm and she appears. What's magical about that is she wasn't even in this room and she wasn't even in the next room. She was... I called her and she just ran on over. She the goat. So you guys want it to be a brewing and chemistry room. Got it. Uh, so I suppose, I don't know what I'm doing with this room. We'll have to figure it out. But uh, let's brew and chem down here. Uh, so if we're brewing and chemming down here, okay, there's already a door. That's good. Uh, so production. We're going to have an apothecary bench on the left. And a brewing station or two, because we're boo sounds, on the right. Alright, my storage here is not that cold. Do you guys, so, do, can someone definitively say if I lined that with clay it would get better? Without it being conjecture? I do have a, I do have a door at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, already. I thought of that. Surprisingly. 
Add more unfloored space? Okay. Because it's the floors that are ruining it. Um... Bostonian me wants me to call this the Big Dig. For those that do not know, uh, the Big Dig was an underground tunnel network in and around the greater Boston area to make it easier to drive. Uh, and it was one of the, if not the largest earth moving projects ever done by humans. It was, uh, is pretty brutal. Uh, I grew up in Boston, so waiting for the big dig was like, uh, was a lengthy process. Alright, so now I'm just adding, like, a bunch of empty space to help pull the temperature down. I feel like I'm digging out catacombs. It varies catacomb-esque. But, alright, there we go. It's like a weird hive. It took how many years? Oh... Well, one of the huge problems is there is, um, there's a lot of, like, uh, old mafia, I guess, in, um, in, bot like, old, like, Italian and Irish mob type. So, a lot of, what, what ended up happening, essentially, was a lot of the, um, a lot of the contracts went to, uh-oh, oh boy. Hey, we're getting a trebuchet! Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the uh, work contracts went to um, sort of mob bosses and and like relative. Well, not mob bosses, but like family, familiar, like not the most um, not the most capable contractors, but just like people that would do the work because they were related to other people. I don't know. It was it was it was, it was a mess. And, and it actually got people killed, legitimately. Like, parts of the tunnel fell down and, like, crushed cars and killed people. All right, so here they are. We've got a whole bunch of... Are they all melee? Yeah, they're all melee. So I'm going to go mess with them with my rangers. Uh, Rob, if you would join. And... Wow, they already started their their attack. Okay, let's see if um, I don't really know how this is gonna pan out, but let's uh, let's hide in our walls and see about that. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that we have this. Uh, oh, you know what? I never built it back. Our clay stairs are gone, so that's not an issue. Never mind. Uh, they're leaving their trebuchets behind. Okay, sure, good strategy. Very good strategy. I appreciate it. Um, Marauder, you have time and time again shown that you are a murderer. Cold-blooded through and through. Let's go ahead and lock the front door. Clink. What's the wolf doing? Just freaking out, I guess. All right, come on, raiders. Oh no, they're hit. They're shooting stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, they're they're using their traps. So if we take a look over here, uh, oh, my crafting room is getting hit. I think. Um, yeah, they're trying to break my library. All right, well, I don't stand for that. Now, since most of them are melee, or all of them even, uh, I'm just going to kite and fight. Oh, wow, they're... Okay, so now that my doors are open, they're coming. Uh, let's go up top again. Sorry that I keep changing my mind, but it looks like if they have a clear path... Kind of like a sapper. If they have a clear path to me, they stop barraging me, and they, um, they walk. So let's have them walk. All right, sorry, Willem. Yeah, you... Death by a thousand needles. 
And let's line up our defenders. Here we are. Ares, it does look like you're going to need yourself, uh, like, more armor. They are getting dunked on right now. Oh, no, he's going back to his trap. I guess they're scared. Oh, my lord. Yeah, you can keep trebbing me. Good luck with that. I'm coming for you. Victory! Now, they did damage some wooden floors and wooden walls. Not a big deal, because they're repairable and replaceable. Uh, the trebuchets seem to have instantly disappeared. Magic. So now we just have a bunch of corpses to clean up. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. So if you take a look at the damage here, uh, it was these, it said wooden, but they really meant limestone. Um, no, actually, it might have broke stuff. Let me go into, yes. It did break stuff. So the first floor of my library is toast. So let's put that back. Interestingly, it like broke something underground in the corner here near the bedroom. And then it obviously busted up uh, the advanced research table that was here. And I don't have enough mechanical components to replace that. So I'm going to need to blacksmith some mechanical components. So let's do mechanical components until I have 10. And if you take a look at these, we'll fuel with uh, sticks. And um, we make them... Let's make them out of iron. Instant treb technology. Very scary stuff. Yeah, M. Absolutely right. Moonlight Sonata. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Now I have a... Arguably a really good song stuck in my head, but a song stuck in my head. Okay, so here's my two breweries making beer. And then I'm going to make... Um, Advanced healing kits until I have 10, which requires vinegar. So then after the, uh, under these beers, I'm gonna make vinegar until I have 50. And I'm gonna prioritize vinegar in one and beer in the other. Here we go. Now we really need walls. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree, but uh, let me finish one project at a time taking too much at once and you get nothing done. And you all voted on... But what did you vote? Uh, furniture 2, that's right. You voted on Furniture 2 as next research. So we're waiting on the mechanical components from the blacksmith in order to build back the advanced research table. And that's that's where the uh, components went. I was wondering where the components went. I forgot that we had uh, used them. Another thing I'm going to start to do is make coal until I have, let's say, 100. So that we can start making steel at some point. I'm going to get rid of this cabbage field too. I think at this point I have such an absurd amount of cabbages. We're good for now. Let's slow down. And focus more on beer. So the temperature down here is 5C. It's cold, but not frigid. So as we 
dig and open up more space, it should drop it further. 4.8. No. And that's, the, the, that's, of course, the current voted project. So uh, what I'm going to do is open up the Channel Point Redemptions. Everything has been purged, so if you want to resubmit ideas that didn't get voted up, you're welcome to. Oh, this old brewing station needs to go as well. And Mako, you uh, need to get rid of your shackles, because I should have done that long ago. And let's see. Uh, sturdy, sturdy, fine. Fine linen. That will work. And your thoughts about wearing fine clothing is it's fine. Heat wave. Uh oh. So the issue with the heat wave, uh, we can get knocked unconscious pretty quickly with the incoming heat wave. So I'm going to spend a second to make sure that I am wearing the best possible, most insulating stuff I can. Um, and then what? another thing I might end up doing is um, putting everyone downstairs, uh, you know, where we can keep everyone cool. Let me go through each person to make sure that they have good clothing. So like uh, Ares here doesn't, so we'll have him switch. And then if anyone starts to get uh, like heat stroke, we will throw him downstairs. Where it's, it's plenty cold. Oh, so the advanced healing kits, I need uh, medicine 30, so let's do... Uh, the regular healing kits. No one has the medicine high enough for the advanced stuff. So Marauder's already suffering from extreme heat because he has uh, good wool clothing for the winter. So let's see. I'll help him out a little bit. Give him some sturdy summer stuff. Who else is suffering? Oh, just him. All right. With the clothing swap, he should be all right. All right. It's despite the heat wave, despite it being um, 33 out Celsius, it is a cold five inside. So it's 91 Fahrenheit out and uh, like 41 Fahrenheit down here. So we could get out of heat. I don't think we're going to have issues with anyone like overheating because we could just throw them downstairs. But it does show that um, my food sucks. So who's uh, cooking? Rasif, I'm going to have you join in as well. This bag of... What are we doing? Why aren't we cooking? Oh no, I have enough meals. They're just hungry. So I guess they're just not eating uh, in a timely, timely fashion. Okay. So how cold is it now? Four, four C. Yep, just north of four C. This is a big... I mean, I'm glad that uh, the heat wave came right when I was expanding the underground. Because it's it's now 3C in there. Which is like 30, uh, 37 Fahrenheit. That's like uh, refrigerator temperature. And the meat... I, I don't have... Oh, I do have meat. The meat down here isn't even spoiling now. Well, my settlers are starving. So what's going on here? The meals I have aren't being consumed. Why not? I take a look at, uh... Oh, we stopped making meals. What is going on here? Bago. Keep cooking. There we go. 
I don't know what she stopped for. But I'm gonna force her to work. Cause I, I don't want people starving. Okay, so that's uh, that's at least a few spare food, spare meals for people not to starve. Uh, my meal permissions were fine. It was just that no one was cooking. Uh, so if you take a look at her priorities here, nothing is higher than cook, except for steward. But that obviously she wasn't doing first, and she's not hurt, so she wasn't waiting to be tended to. So there was really no good reason for her not to be cooking, other than the fact that she just wasn't. I have no idea. I also have plenty of sticks and plenty of uh, raw resources, so I just I just had to prompt them. I I, I don't know. Uh oh, but that's not good. We do to a lack of support. Come on, this is supported. We have a giant hole in in the ground here. It says I wasn't supporting it, but I call BS. All right, let's fill this in with um clay. Too far from stable structure. That's not true. All right, I'll add a bunch of cross beams and and then fill it in with clay. Research Furniture 2 is now done. I'll pull you for what's next. So we've got... Wood Weapons. I'm just going to call it Wood Weapons for short. Armor 2 for short. Shield 2 for short. Axes, maces, swords. Or... Distilling. This really does remind me of like wine cellars. So we're starting to fill that in with uh, clay now. Come on, one more. We lost some dirt, and I don't think we can get that back, but it's not uh, its not a massive loss. I mean, a little bit of farmland, but no big deal. And this is indeed the hill's biome. Thanks for uh, replying to that. Alright, so I am getting excessive heat warnings, but that's mostly for Rasip because he's cooking. And the kitchen's very hot for, you know, oven-based reasons. Down here, it's not as bad. And it is... Uh... 3.7C down here, so that's like a refrigerator temp. So not much worry about like a heat stroke or anything like that. And uh, let me turn on the quick speed so that we can get through this project faster and I can queue up stuff uh, that you all propose. All right, the heat wave is over. So now I think the root cellar should be frozen. 2.6. Yeah, okay. More or less frozen. Just just about. 2.4 and dropping. Great. Root cellar success. It's 
a lot of people digging. So next research, distilling by a landslide. So this allows you to make spirits and alcohol. Powerful aquafite. Uh, we do need a lot more books for that, so that's going to be a, that's going to be a bit. So current project will be giant storage cellar and distilling. I'll write it down so we don't forget. The Cheddarport Redemptions are open for uh, next um, next goals. The kicker here is um, okay. Uh, Exarch, I'm not really sure how to do your uh, redemption there. Yeah, it's 0.7c now. Pretty warm in this, um... Maybe I can deconstruct some of the floors. It's pretty warm in this room here. It doesn't really need to be. So, the barley is still growing and ripening. That's taken a while. The flax is almost done yet again. And then you can see that there's a lot of clothing here that needs to get destroyed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the dismantling from all things flimsy and sturdy. Um, then for clothing here, edit that, all things flimsy and sturdy as well, regardless of their hit points. And that should, uh, that should trigger a lot more purging of this kind of oh, mediocre clothing. And then I'll, I'll keep increasing the uh, requirements until we, you know, get to a point where we have a lot of, like, fine plus gear. But I do like this weird cellar. It's strange, that's for sure. Thank you for watching Going Medieval, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has both my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. You can also go ahead and follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description or twitch.tv slash Rodamont5186. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode or perhaps in a stream sometime. Farewell.